How's it going everybody? Jake from St. Cloud Shields here. Today we're going to be talking about bass jigs. Now there's a lot of different kinds and styles of bass jigs. Today I have some grass jigs in front of me. They have a little bit more pointed head on them like a bullet. I've got the Stealth Fighter jig. It's got a flat surface on there. It can kind of do it all. I've got some swimming jigs and then some football jigs. Now when I go to pick out a jig Typically, it's kind of based on the time of the year, the water temperature, and that really plays like a big role for me, what kind of depth I'm fishing. And early on in the year, I like to start off with a smaller profile, just because the fish aren't super active, they're not really actively feeding. And with that being said, it kind of ties into how I pick out my trailer for that time of the year. So early on, the fish aren't very active, like I said. It's cooler water temperatures, the fish aren't feeding super heavy. They don't need anything that's really full of action and waving right in their face saying, come get me. So I like to go with about a 3 8 ounce size jig with either like a beaver tail on there, which is like these three, just because they don't have a whole lot of action on them, or something a little bit more subtle that's smaller that doesn't have a whole lot of size to it. Something that just kind of gets right in their face, you can kind of just leave it there. It's not really creating too much commotion. As that summer kind of goes on and the water temperatures start to warm up, I'll start picking out some bigger jigs on there and then smaller trailers. So I like to go with like a 3 8 like I said before, all the way up to a half ounce on the jigs for that. So I'll start typically with a green pumpkin jig on the lakes, something that looks really natural, unless it's like midsummer where that water kind of turns that pea soupy green color then I'll go to a black and blue or even like a purple but for the most part I'll stick with that green pumpkin just because in Minnesota where we bass fish a lot the fish are really keying in on bluegills up shallow so I like to stick with that green I'll add in a little bit of blue orange just kind of bluegill looking baits but as that summer goes on I'll kind of go to a swimming cross style and with that it adds a little bit more action on the back of the trailer the fish start to feed up a little bit more as that summer goes on so as that jig falls those swimming craws kick all the way down so you get a lot of bites if you're fishing weed edges or even in weeds on the fall initially when you're throwing that jig so when you're fishing in weeds with that grass jig it's nice to have a little bit slicker style uh, trailer on there, something that can penetrate straight down through the weeds. Instead of having like a kick and craw, when those legs are waving down and you're throwing that through like cabbage or coontail or even milfoil, these can get hung up a little bit easier on the leaves and on the stems. Whereas if you use something with a little bit slicker profile on there, it drops right through those weeds a lot easier. So that's another thing to kind of keep in mind. Now when it comes to swimming jigs, there's a bunch of different kinds of trailers that you can throw on the back of them. Everybody kind of does something different. What I really like is early on, when there's a lot of minnows up shallow, I'll throw something that kind of resembles like a shiner, something with a paddle tail on there. And as it summer goes on and I'm fishing around more weed cover where vegetation starts to grow up I like to go with that double twister tail something along the lines of that where you get a little bit more action it's kicking so if you're throwing that around lily pads and those two tails are swimming and if one side of your jig hits that lily pad instead of it cocking backwards and getting that hook stuck on the lily pad like if I had just a single twister tail the two tails kind of offset each other and instead of it going straight to the side and your hook gets caught right in the side of that lily pad, it kind of kicks back and you're able to keep swimming and swim freely through those lily pads. Now for football jigs. When I'm throwing football jigs, usually it's, it's you're dragging the bait. You're out on structure, dragging those jigs over rocks even like a little bit of sand too, kind of like that transition deal. But with the football jigs, I really like to throw like a craw colored style, something a little orange for the most part, if I'm fishing deeper stuff. So the fish can see it a little bit easier than if you're throwing like a green pumpkin. 
But if I'm fishing shallower rocks, dragging that football jig, I'll be throwing a green pumpkin pretty much all the time. And then if I'm doing like a really dirty, fishing in really dirty water, I'll throw that black and blue. It stands out a little bit more to the fish. It adds a little bit bigger profile and they can find it a little bit easier. But that's pretty much the rundown for the jigs that I use and trailers that I really like. So if you have any other questions or if you wanna just talk bass fishing with us, stop in at your local Shields or you can shop online at shields.com.